Well, they inspired uh, you know, the whole team. Uh, we were looking uh, for some kind of energy, some kind of uh, separation. Uh, we understood that it was going to be a 48-minute game, uh, and, and they played some inspiring basketball, not only in the fourth quarter, but in that second quarter, that was really what changed the momentum uh, of the game, it got us back into it, took, took the lead. Um, it wasn't perfect basketball by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, just the, the energy and the momentum that they created um, you know, was inspiring for, for everybody in the locker room. No Dion, no Hassan in the fourth. Anything particular to those decisions? Hey, we, we came here uh, to get a job done. Um, the guys understand that, and uh, that lineup was creating separation. Uh, there's nothing more to it than, than, than that. Every game is different. Um, but those guys really uh, did a nice job in the fourth quarter. I wasn't going to change that up. Did Dion okay? I mean, I'm sorry, Hassan okay in the fourth? He had to... He had, he no, he's got on his knee. Yeah, he's fine. It's the same that he's been been dealing with. What was so different about the second quarter when you scored 38 as opposed to the first when you get I seven? don't know, but if the game would have kept on going like that, I think everybody would have wanted a refund, and <laughs> we probably would have paid for it as an organization. That was ugly in that first quarter um, for both teams. 13-7, and seven, it looks like a misprint. Um, but again, uh, just some of the energy that the, the second unit came out with, uh, you know, changed just the energy and on both sides of the floor. Uh, it's amazing how that works sometimes. Eric, your, your organization has evaluated uh, the way a season is going after about 20 games. Is that What's the value in doing that, and, and are there certain things you look at when, when you do that? Yeah, you have a pretty good idea of your um, general feel and um, context of your team, but that's not always in cement. <laughs> Just look at us last year. Uh, we didn't really understand where we were. And uh, at that point, uh, we probably didn't even have six wins. No, no, I mean, uh, we didn't even have five, four wins probably at that point uh, after 20. Um, but you have an idea of what direction usually that your, your team is going in. But um, I hope that's not the case uh, this year as it was last year. Well. We'll see. <laughs> we're, we've got a we got a ways to go. Uh, we're building uh, we're building habits, building uh, better behavior, all the little things that lead uh, to winning. Um, so hopefully we'll be a much different team uh, every 20 game block uh, from here on out. Eric Dion sat at the end. Was he going to go back in if needed, or was it sort of right about to the end? The rest of the guys. Well, I was ready to put anybody back in. Okay. Um, but that team was was playing well. I wasn't going to change it up. I, we were, that was the most consistent basketball we had played all game. Um, so there's nothing personal uh, with anything in this, in this locker room. It's about uh, getting the job done. Um, it's different nights, different guys on different nights. You guys have uh, an understanding of, of what, what that's all about. Um, and we're going to need uh, everybody to play at a high level in the next city. Was this another case of resting Goran to keep him fresh enough for the finishing kick that he helped give you? Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm doing it right now. Um, it's worked out. I'll continue to do it. If I have to ad adjust and adapt, I'll do that as well. And in the fourth quarter, it seems we saw a lot more of the James Johnson that we had seen last season, a guy stepping up and making right plays at the right time. Do you sort of get a sense of that he's getting back to what he gave you over the second half of last season? He doesn't have to uh, be who he was last year. We want to create something different and better, you know. And I thought he played uh, very composed. Um, particularly in that fourth quarter. Made easy plays. Uh, he was aggressive when he needed to. Um, he wasn't getting himself into trouble. Um, it was pretty uh, direct line uh, on what he was doing, whether facilitating or attacking. Um, and then also as a screener. It just shows the versatility. That fourth quarter he did just about a little bit of everything offensively, and um, that's where we want to continue to, uh, to grow in his game. Over these last three, Coach, of the back-to-basics kind of meal-to-meal -meal mentality that you've had these guys focus on, yeah. what's been foremost in the success of embracing that with them? Uh, that's just uh, what we have to, to develop right now. We have to develop better habits. It's as simple as that. Um, and that doesn't guarantee anything. Um, our guys work at it. Uh, so I, I, I don't want that to be translated as a negative. Um, but we have to develop better behavior, better habits, better approach. Uh, if you want to find more consistency uh, at 7.30 at night, 
uh, you have to be consistent and reliable in all the other areas of, of your life that lead up to, the, to that point. And that's where uh, we're trying to improve.